Hello, my name is Niall McPartin and I am a lecturer at Limerick Institute of Technology in Ireland. This video is the second part of two videos on drawing and creating a model of a house. The second part, this video, is on drawing elevations and the techniques for making the model. I will demonstrate how to project elevations from a plan, dealing with perceived and real dimensions, transfer drawings to cardboard sheets and cutting out, jointing options for the model and finally constructing the model. In the first video we looked at drawing a plan to scale. Now we will look at drawing the elevations. Elevations are the views that show the heights of the walls and the roof and the positions of the doors and the windows on the walls. Before we begin let's decide on the heights we want for our model. You can try different dimensions, but make sure they are not very small. I have chosen the following heights for this model. 2.5 meters for the height of the ceiling, 2 meters for the height of the door, and 1 meter for the windows. The top of the roof will be 2.5 meters higher than the ceiling. Fortunately, we do not have to start from a blank page again. We can use our plan drawing from part 1 to project the elevations. Watch carefully in the clip to see how the widths are transferred to the elevation with a light pencil line. Next I draw the line that represents the ground. Now I measure the window, door, ceiling and roof heights. Again I draw with light pencil lines before drawing the elements in with pen. Notice how I have made the roof half a meter wider than the wall. This will give a nice overhang on the roof. I also make sure the roof edge is 2 millimeters thick, allowing for the thickness of the cardboard in the model. Finally, I draw the roof. The top is 2.5 meters higher than the ceiling, and the apex or the top point exactly in the middle. This computer drawing shows the plan with all the outside elevations projected. Take some time to look at the colours that show the link between the same windows and doors on both the plan and the elevation. The internal elevations can also be projected from the plan or you could measure the plan and draw them directly onto the cardboard. Although the roof elevations are correct for the overall height of the roof, the real length and size of the roof is different. This is because we are looking at the roof in elevation at an angle. The drawing above has changed the roof elevations to show the correct template for the cardboard model. When we have completed drawing all elevations and the plan, we are ready to transfer them to the cardboard sheet that will be used to make the model. There are a number of ways of doing this. We could photocopy the drawing and cut out the plans and elevations to use as stencils. We will use a quicker method. Firstly, we shade the back of the drawing with a soft pencil like a 6B. Next, we tape down the sheet onto the cardboard Finally, we go over the main lines of the drawing again with a hard pencil like a H or a 2H. When we remove the drawing, the graphite on the back of the page will leave an imprint of the drawing on the cardboard. Before we look at making the model, we need to select the right adhesive. Standard PVA glue is probably the best option. You should be very careful using any adhesive and read the instructions carefully. The image above shows the two options for joining the cardboard. Either a mitre joint which is hard to do, or using a butt joint which is easier but you have to cut the elements shorter to allow for the thickness of the cardboard. On the screen we can see all of the elevations and plans drawn on one piece of cardboard. You could use a number of pieces of cardboard if you don't have one big piece. You can use a scissors or knife to cut out the pieces. 
make sure you are careful and only do this with adult supervision. The animation now shows the sequence for making the model. In this video we first looked at drawing elevations, dealing with perceived and real dimensions, putting the drawings onto the cardboard, how to join the model elements and finally the construction sequence. Thank you for watching. Please check the project portal for additional resources.